Does it look like there's mucus floating in your water or covering your pool surfaces? Do you have orangey pink streaks or spots around your pool's water line? Well, you've got a white water mold problem or a pink slime problem, and it takes a lot of elbow grease to get rid of them, but they're easy to prevent. So here's how to get rid of pink slime and white water mold in your pool. Let's dive in. Real quick before we continue, if you want more help taking care of your pool, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. It's totally free and will help you keep your pool clean and clear all season long. First, what's whitewater mold and pink slime? Whitewater mold, like any mold, is actually a fungus. Pink slime is a bacteria that's sometimes mistaken for algae. You've probably seen pink slime in your bathroom, maybe on your shower curtain, or in your toilet bowl. It's an airborne bacteria that feeds on mineral and fatty deposits. Now, what causes white water mold and pink slime? Just like any other fungus or bacteria, white water mold and pink slime are organic and naturally occurring. If you find either in your pool, it means your pool isn't clean and the water isn't properly balanced. And that means the best way to prevent it is by keeping your pool sanitized. So here's how to get rid of white water mold in your pool. It's important to be thorough because even the smallest bit of white water mold left behind can multiply again. So step number one, clean the filter. If there's white water mold in your pool, it's probably in your filter. So before you do anything else, backwash your sand or DE filter or spray your cartridge filter with a hose. Step number two, balance the water. The most important level to balance is the pH. Make sure it's between 7.4 and 7.6, with 7.5 being ideal. Step number three, shock the pool. A regular dose of shock won't kill white water mold. You'll need to triple or even quadruple shock your pool with chlorine shock. And that means adding three or four pounds of calcium hypochlorite shock per 10,000 gallons of water. Step number four, brush the pool. Using a stiff pool brush, brush your pool and get as much of the white water mold off the surface as possible. Check around the skimmer and return jets, behind ladders, and other hidden shady spots. Step number five, run the pump. Run your pump overnight for at least eight hours. The idea here is to get all the mold you brush from the pool into the filter, so give it longer than eight hours if you can. Step number six, brush the pool again. Think you've got all the mold the first time around? Think again. If you leave any mold in your pool, it'll come right back. So brush the sides and bottom of the pool again, and then let everything settle to the bottom. Step number seven, vacuum the pool. An automatic pool cleaner won't be enough for this job. You'll need to manually vacuum the pool. And be sure to vacuum on the waste setting and refill your pool if the water line drops significantly. Step number eight, clean the filter again. This time you'll wanna be extra thorough. Use a filter cleaner for a sand or DE filter or a chemical soak for a cartridge filter. Step number nine, test and balance the water. Use test strips or a liquid test kit to bring the pH, alkalinity, and chlorine back up to the right levels. Now that you've done all that work, you'll wanna closely monitor your pool for the next week to make sure that the white water mold doesn't return. During that time, run the pump as much as you can. You may also wanna brush and vacuum your pool every other day. Next, let's talk about how to get rid of pink slime in your pool. Unfortunately, this pink bacteria is resistant to most of the chemicals you use to clean and sanitize your pool, even chlorine. So the usual cleaning processes and sanitizer doses won't kill it. So step number one, clean the filter. If there's pink bacteria in your pool, it's probably in your filter. So before you do anything else, clean the pool filter. Backwash your sand or DE filter, or spray your cartridge with a hose. Step number two, balance the water. The most important level to balance here is the pH. Make sure it's between 7.4 and 7.6, with 7.5 being ideal. Step number three, turn off the pump. You'll be adding some more chemicals to the water and you don't want them to circulate just yet. Step number four, brush the pool. Using a stiff pool brush, thoroughly brush the bottom and walls of your pool. The goal is to brush as much of the pink bacteria off the surface as possible. 
get into the crevices like around your skimmer, return jets, and ladders. Step number five, add an algicide. Like we said, pink slime is a bacteria and not an algae. But because so many people refer to it as pink algae, you may need to look for products called pink algicide. Step number six, shock the pool. A regular dose won't be enough to kill chemical resistant pink bacteria. So you'll need to triple or quadruple shock your pool with chlorine shock. That means adding three or four pounds of calcium hypochlorite shock per 10,000 gallons of water. Test the water between each application of shock. The goal here is to bring your chlorine level up to five parts per million. And remember to shock your pool at dusk or night so it doesn't burn off in the sun. Then, with the pump still off, let the pool sit overnight. Step number seven, vacuum the pool. You'll need to manually vacuum the pool. Be sure to vacuum on the waste setting, meaning the water will bypass your filter. And don't allow the water line to drop too low. Have a garden hose handy to refill as necessary. Step number eight, clean the filter again and run the pump. Use a filter cleaner to clean a sand or DE filter and use a chemical soak for a cartridge filter. Then run the pump as you normally would. Step number nine, keep the chlorine level high. During the following week, keep your chlorine level at five parts per million. You'll wanna test the water every day to make sure it's still high. Step number 10, balance the water. After a week, allow the chlorine level to drop back to three parts per million, and then balance the water as you normally do, bringing all the levels where they need to be. You'll wanna closely monitor your pool for a week to make sure the pink bacteria doesn't return. It can help if you run the pump as often as you can and brush and vacuum your pool every other day during this time. Now, how do you prevent white water mold and pink slime from happening in the first place? After all that work, you'll wanna make sure you keep that mold and bacteria out of your pool. And the best way to prevent either one of those is to keep your pool clean, keep the water regularly balanced, especially your pH and sanitizer levels, and shock regularly. And if you need more help maintaining your pool throughout the season, grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe for more pool maintenance tutorials throughout the season. That's it. Thanks again, and happy swimming.